For centuries, Poland has contributed to making the history of Christian Europe and set an example of democracy and religious tolerance. However, in 1795, the state was divided among three neighbors and removed from the map of Europe. Throughout 123 years of national bondage, Poles persistently strove for freedom. The Catholic Church was a spiritual bastion, uniting the nation and strengthening Polish identity. In November 1918, Poland regained its independence and returned to the map of Europe. In August 1920, the Polish army defeated the Red Army, thus preventing Europe from falling victim to Bolshevik atheism. Military chaplains significantly contributed to this success, accompanying soldiers in their struggles. On February 5, 1919, Pope Benedict XV established the very first field bishopric in the history of independent Poland. Military bishops Stanisław Gal and Józef Gawlina zealously performed their pastoral mission, organizing and developing military pastoral care. During the interwar period, separate structures of pastoral care were also established for the Orthodox and Protestant soldiers, as well as for Jews and Muslims. Poland again disappeared from the map of Europe following the aggression of the Third Reich and the Soviet Union in September 1939. Poles took up the fight for freedom, both in the occupied territory and in the structures of the Polish armed forces in the West, supported by Catholic chaplains, as well as the clergy of other Christian denominations and different religions. Poland was enslaved again at the end of World War II. At conferences in Tehran, Yalta and Potsdam, the three victorious powers, the Soviet Union, the USA and the UK, made Poland a dependent state of Moscow. During the decades of communist rule in Poland, the Catholic Church and the military ordinariate were persecuted. There was only a symbolic military pastoral care in the form of the general deanery, while pastoral care for other Christian denominations was simply abolished. The political changes of 1989 marked a new chapter in the history of military pastoral care. In January 1991, Pope John Paul II established the Polish military ordinariate. Its three subsequent ordinaries, Archbishop Sławoj Leszek Łódź, the late Bishop Tadeusz Płoski and the current Bishop Józef Guzdek, together with military chaplains, have preached God's word, administered sacraments and accompanied soldiers in their day-to-day -day struggles for safety and peace. The political change also paved the way for a renewal of pastoral care for Orthodox and Protestant soldiers. Saint John Paul II, a son of an officer of the Second Polish Republic, said in the year 2000, all those who serve in the army should consider themselves servants of the safety and freedom of nations. The chaplains work with soldiers and civilian staff of military institutions, as well as officers of all other uniformed services. Similar duties are performed by Orthodox and Protestant military pastors. Through Christian and patriotic formation of soldiers, chaplains shape their consciences, teach them the gospel and are witnesses of faith. They accompany soldiers in their daily service under banners with the motto God, Honor, Homeland.